you. Hello, Treepwood. You sent me on a wild albatross chase for La Esponja Grande and promised me it would cure the pox. But after fending off sexually ambiguous merpeople, a giant manatee, and your crazy ex-boyfriend, what do I get for my trouble? This sorry excuse for a kitchen sponge. La Esponja. Ah, I noticed you strategically left out the Grande from this worthless piece of junk. Once it cured my piddly leftover pox, it didn't have enough mojo left to cure Elaine. It's not worthless. It is merely young. It must be brought to maturity in order to reach its voodoo-absorbing potential. Brought to maturity? How am I supposed to do that? Give it a talk about the sponge birds and sponge bees? Like all infants, La Esponja needs nourishment. It must be fed six special voodoo courses to bring it to adult size. What sort of meal is that? A feast for the senses. The menu, Treepwood. Take it and served a sponge a meal unlike any other. And then, it will grow. Hey, neat. There's a map of the Flotsam Jungle on the cover. No more listening to bees and birds and boars for this mighty pirate. Hmm. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. What was that? Huh. Something sure shoved a short sword up his aft sail. It's already unlocked. What the? Morgan! What happened? <laughs> Went to get your hand. <coughs> you didn't have to do that. <coughs> Had to pay you back for all the trouble. Found Jacques. He told me. What? He told me. What? What did the monkey tell you? Oh, no. This is where the Marquis keeps all the severed limbs of the pirates he's operated on. Hmm. Hey, you never know when a sack of severed legs is going to come in handy. Or footy, as the case may be. Sorry. Did the singe murder you, too?
name of Bluebeard's hair dye? Hey, hey, no poaching. I have called dips. I think I may be lost. Shouldn't there be a creepy voodoo shack right about there? There was, until they came to arrest that pox-spreading voodoo lady. What happened? First came the flames. Poor Senor Nipperkin went up like St. Elmo's fire. Then she emerged from the conflagration, mumbling ancient curses with every regal step. I never forget the baleful stare she fixed me with as she was blessed. Well, a look condemning me to a lifetime of suffering, shame, and regret. Okay. And if that wasn't bad enough, I, I haven't found one bit of cool voodoo stuff in the wreckage. Come on! Mob justice can be so unfair. Looks like these finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. Secret to eternal life. Le spectre de Grand César. <laughs> Doesn't look like Elaine's in any immediate danger. Hopefully, she won't commit any unforgivable atrocities before I finish enlarging my pox curing sponge. Jungle fireflies, nature's little spotlights. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating, and just a little nauseating. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've lost that she devil. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Serves him right though. Still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. Mighty Pirate Hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spool. That's the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? Here, boy! Ooh, that looks uncomfortable, but at least he's not snapping at me anymore. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! 
fish, you! That is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. little fellas, check out these high-def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. Well, at least Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Stan! Threepwood! No hard feelings over all those various civil and criminal charges? Water under the bridge. Great! bridge with a fast-talking shyster-slash-salesman dangling from it. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose you'd be willing to sell me your eye-bending jacket. Give up my jacket? It'd be like Samson getting a buzz cut, or King Arthur losing Excalibur, or Bluebeard dying himself blonde. Huh? Without my jacket, my salesman Mojo would wither away faster than a hothouse orchid in a pizza oven. So, that's a maybe? Still trying to make a buck on my recently cleared name? Nah, I sold all that junk to that Dooro sap. I've moved on to the next trial of the century. Flotsam Island versus LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady. Yeah, how are sales going now? Great! People can't get enough of the Voodoo Lady's murky moral ambiguity, mysterious unexplored backstory, and her ample... La 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 la, I'm not listening, la la la... Voodoo charms. And as for the Chuck, well, let's just say the Lady Pirates love, love, love a tale of redemption. The whole bad boy made good angle. Ah. Uh. What kind of souvenirs could you possibly be making out of the Voodoo Lady and the Chuck? Oh, ye of little faith. Feast your eyes on the all new People vs. the Chuck and the Voodoo Lady collection. What's that one? That's our Curse Cutlass of Kaflu, the Chuck doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Hey, now, what's this? A fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! That, ah! That hurts! Sweet, ah! Fancy! Ah! Moses! That was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending my clients in the all together. Say, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man, naked attorney at law. You've got nothing to hide, and neither does he. Um... No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. Sweet. Are you pirate enough to take the Fugu Jolokia challenge? Hey, WP. Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? 
me about this Fugu Jolokia challenge. Ah, a connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? Um, yes? Then you surely have heard of the Fugu Jolokia, the hottest pepper in this world or the next. Oh, that Fugu Jolokia. I acquired that specimen of the Fugu pepper many years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort, winning it from him when I was able to place me tongue on the pepper for ten entire seconds. How eccentric. Since that tongue-destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jolokia for eleven seconds. to Morgan's body. Auto trepanation helmet. Hmm. Ow! What is it? My thumb! Well done, Captain Threepwood! You've conquered the Fugu Jolokia and have won the right to keep it as your own. I walk a clean living in a healthy co- oh. I probably got permanent glossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. Weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. I wonder who put this idol under glass, and why? Huh? 
Well, that's odd. like a whole new map now. the mysterious chest of foreshadowing from the voodoo lady's shack. Who knows what sort of useful voodoo bric-a-brac lurk in its locked timbers. Even more importantly, how am I going to unlock it to find out? Let's see, what do I have now that I didn't have the last time I tried to open this chest? Ow! Stupid hook! Oh, it can't be that easy. The Voodoo Lady's tarot cards? That's it? I bent the fabric of reality for a stupid fortune teller's trick? Okay, that's a pretty good trick. You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of mystical sponges. Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly, anti-pasta. That's a good sponge. Good thing the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in the ocean right about now. Hopefully these flakes of the future will give La Esponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this. Whoa! 
Ow! Ooh. Ooh. Tingly. Well, hey, what's this? Ah, so that was the shocking dessert. Ouch! All right, Senor Esponja Not So Grande. That's five senses down and one to go. Now, where can I find a really big sound for an after-dinner belch? Well, there's only one thing on Flotsam Island that can make a noise like that. Man, you snuff sniffing land liquor! You heard the lady to singe. Guybrush, get out of here and find your own treasure! This one's mine! Ah, the happy Threepwood Pirate Clan. <laughs> Whatever shall I do now? Oh, I know. Oh, clam dip. Ha! I can't believe I ever married a dullard like you. You know, once I cure you of the pox that's making you say all these mean things, you're going to owe me a lot of smoochies. I wouldn't smooch you with his lips, cabin boy. <clears throat> I hate to break up this portrait of domestic bliss, <laughs> but I've got some last-minute adjustments to make to my machinery before preparing the charming Madame Threepwood for her journey into scientific history. Don't worry, Buttercup. Once I get La Esponja Grande into that noisy doohickey, our troubles will be over. Mm, yes. Well, please try to keep it down, no? At least I hope so. What's this? An airborne peripheral? Hey, give that back! <laughs> and risk tainting my moment of triumph with your tedious voodoo powder all. <laughs> I don't think so. Moment of triumph? We, oui. using my Arpsychroniton, I have discovered the unique harmonic frequency that allows me to pulverize matter into a fine powder and spread it across the seas. <laughs> Observe! It's me, Garbrush Threepwood, Whitey Pirate. It's me! First of all, thanks. That thing was really starting to scrape my scab. Second, you're crazy if you think you're gonna get me in there. Okay, crazier. You? I don't want you. It's your wife's molecules I need to smear across the seas. I'd like to see you try, you wuss. Why her? Because of her pox, you dolt. She's got the same unique strain of the pox that you once had. The same one that was flowing through your amazing hand. The same one that I've distilled into my amazing jus de vie. Lefty! Unfortunately, a single hand can only provide enough of this sweetwood strain to produce a few meager drums of my jus de vie. Even if I were to drain your beloved to the bone, I would only gain a few piddling firkins of the juice. I'll give you some piddling firkins? No. If I want a perpetual strain of the jus de vie, every pirate in the world must be exposed to the sweetwood strain. Now, Madame Sweetwood, if you'll hold still for a moment, I'll try to make this as painless as possible. How nice. But I won't. Oh, oh. <laughs> Behold the power of the UDV. Hmm. Oh, what the heck? Sweet. Hey, Boo! What now? Hey! <sighs> what in the world? Oh, shoot! Hey, the monkey! What? Hmm. 
You'll never get past my wife's sword, you know. I once saw her hold off a horde of angry Rotarians with nothing more than a pen knife and a feather duster. Eh, impressive. But unless they were invulnerable Rotarians fueled by my incredible jus de vie, there's really no comparison. Soon she will tire, and her box will be mine to spread across the four corners of the earth. I'll spread you to the four corners! Ugh, what now? My cabin! No! You shoot! Oh, get away from me, you nasty little bitch! No! What's the matter with him? Without my hand to supply him with more jus de vie, all those wounds you've been inflicting are starting to catch up with him. Ugh. Ugh. Get back here, you naughty little lad! <laughs> I have you now, my pretty. <laughs> Nice one, Hand. Care to help me with these locks? I guess that was a little too much to ask. At least I've got the sponge back, though. Well, that was a little antic for Mac. in Esponja Grande, but how will I use it to cure- Oh, right, the wind! My mouth tastes like coleslaw. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we figure out how to get out of these stupid clamshells. Leave everything to me, my friends. Lechuk, my new best pal. How'd you get out of jail? Oh, the guard was more than happy to release me once I convinced him that it was the only way to win Elaine's hand in unholy matrimony. Wait, unholy what? Unholy bitch! Guybrush! Elaine? Guybrush! The truck! <laughs> this name shouting is jolly good fun! Is that you, Mother? I washed my hands. I knew it all along. With or without all that voodoo, you're still nothing but an evil sack of scum. Correction, my sweet. I'm an evil sack of scum who's about to plunder the grandest treasure in all creation. But I'd be willing to share my booty if you catch me drift. What? Oh, come now, my love. You can't deny what we've shared these past few weeks. The chummy camaraderie, the kind words, the stolen glances. I know you've developed feelings for me. Join me as my demon bride, and together we'll lay a bloody siege to the very heart of voodoo itself. Go to hell, the Chuck. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Looks like we'll be doing this with all that voodoo. Elaine? Uh, you know me a favor? Ah! That be the stuff! Anything. Kick is two faced, but for me. From melee to monkey and all the islands in between, my love. <laughs> Aren't you dead yet? I've got wedding plans to make. Grr. 
Out of respect for the newly deceased, I feel I should point out that you wave your sword like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a pox-infected undead cow. Ha 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 ha!